In this tutorial, you will learn to see whether corners are unsolvable on all the twisty puzzles from 2x2, 3x3, 4x4, 5x5, 6x6, and 7x7. This will also work on an 8x8, or 9x9, all the way up to, for like, 1000x1000, a million by a million. Note. This is all you need to check whether it's solvable on the even number cubes. Since the 2x2 has no edges, and the edges on a 4x4 or 6x6 has a parity. I'll now show you this parity. Yeah. See how this, these two edges are flipped? And how not all the rest is solved? This is parity. And unsolvable, since the equivalent on 3x3 is as that, and since you can't solve it, you should. These are the impossible combinations for both edges and corners on uh, even numbered cubes because there's also a parity of two swap corners which can be solved. Since the other parity on this is two um, edges swapped, this also happens with corners. So as you can see, if you perform a T-perm to solve those two, these two are unsolved. So parity on 4x4 covers the impossible edge sequences. Same with 6x6. With 2x2 you don't even get this since it's only corners. The impossible positions that you cannot solve on the th on numbered cubes are a flipped edge, a twisted corner, two Achaean swapped corner pieces, two diagonally swapped corner pieces, two Achaean swapped edge pieces, two opposite edge pieces, two opposite edge pieces and a flipped edge. Two opposite pieces and the flipped edge and a twisted corner. Two open swapped edges and a twisted corner. Two open swapped edges and a twisted corner and a flipped edge. Two open two open corners swapped and a twisted corner. Two open corners swapped, a twisted corner and a flipped edge. Two diagonally swapped corners and a flipped edge. Two diagonally swapped corners and a flipped edge. Note though, the corner can be twisted into two different impossible positions. So, those are the impossible cases on odd number cubes. Note, when we're talking about flipped edges, I mean this middle piece just flipped all this entire row. But we will not talk about edges. But if you end up solve the cube all the way you can and you get one of those cases, you cannot solve your cube unless you take out the pieces and put, twist them and flip them and swap them. Alright, let's start with the method. So, we'll start with the 2x2. Two two. You look at your 2x2, two two, look at one layer, look at the colours. You need to know your colour scheme, so yeah. What I want to do, oh, just look at one of the layers and look, for example, for what? Yellow. You see yellow there, yellow there, white there, and white there. The reason you see white is because the opposite colour is white. So you look at that, look at the case, in this case, it's anti-sim. And on this case, it is another H, I think. So you know that is solvable. So, in that case, it's solvable.
Now I'll show you all the possible cases. Soon! And anti soon. I trust you know how to solve these. Hi, and you. I trust you know how to solve those two cases. Uh, double soon and T. And last but not least, H. Those are the valid uh, set of cases that are possible to solve when the last layer is solved. For example, see, we saw this face, and we got one of those cases. For example, saw this face. I might have got one of those cases. These are the ITSIS cases. They should be unnecessary to use. The K in this. First, I'll tell you what the ITSIS method is. The SS method, you don't solve an entire layer or a phase like you do in Ortega, CLL, or EG. You don't solve the entire layer. But instead, you solve three quarters. I'll show you what I mean. you solve like that and have one of eight cases appear up here the reason I say it's unnecessary is Okay, let's look. Yellow. Okay, yellow. Look at the reason I say it's unnecessary is because look, the yellow has an SS case. Look at red, purple, or red, orange. This is, this is a long one. It's an SS case. And green, blue is solvable. But if you want to know this, what these cases look like, I'll show you. Single. Three edges are solved. This case. This case, which looks most like a case that you would get if you had solved the layer as you would do in Orteca, CLL, or EG. Since it looks like double sum, but it 
this case, this case, this case, this case, wheel. This case, wheel. In this case, though the FCS cases are necessary to know, it's useful if you see them because it may help you to tell if there's a twisted corner. But, though it's unnecessary to know the ECS case, it's, it's useful to know them. Just in case, when you look around the cube, you only see those sort of cases. It shouldn't be possible to solve. Now let's do an example solve. Example. As you can see here, we are looking on green and blue, and it's got the single case. And here is another one of those cases. Same with red and purple, or red and orange, on both sides. And the same here, and we have, we have one of those cases here. So on some occasions you may get something like this which is why it may be useful to know them since you may have sometimes cases like that this concludes this tutorial